Welcome to Property Prez Wizard. Property Prez Wizard is a work order, vendor, and web-based management solution. To access Property Prez Wizard, you'll start at the website propertyprezwizard.com. To enter the system, you'll simply click on System Login, enter in your user credentials, and click Login. Once you've logged into the site, you will see all of your work orders. Based on your access level, will determine what orders you're seeing. As an example, if it's a contractor logging into the site, you will see the contractor will only see the work orders assigned to them. A client logging into the site will see the orders assigned or that they have provided. And we're going to log in as an admin, somebody who can see all of the orders and all of the details. On the left side of the home screen, you'll notice statuses. The statuses will indicate where you're at in the process with that order. Your next column is review needed. If you have an issue with it in the order, Property Prez Wizard actually has rules that you can set up that allows you to create uh, reviews that are automated. So when the order goes through that process, if there's an issue, it'll show you as an example here, there's an issue on the PCR. If you click on that, it will take you to the PCR portion of the work order. The information on the screen can be adjusted by user. So you can actually determine which columns are active and which columns are inactive. Simply drag and drop in order to adjust and add that column. As you continue out to the right, you'll notice three icons. The first icon is the notes icon. The notes icon will show you any communication notes within that order. Those can be notes between you and your client, you and your vendors, or other third parties. The second icon will show you where that property is located. And the third icon will actually show you if there's a history at that property. Now, when you're reviewing the orders, you can actually filter your orders. You can filter by a basic filter, which allows you to set, uh, filter by status, address, who it's assigned to, work type, as well as client information. You can also build advanced filters. With the advanced filters, you can filter based on any of the different fields. So you can determine the fields you'd like to filter on, the operators, and the values. So as an example, due date within the next three days, or whatever it may be. With either your basic and your advanced filters, you can actually save those filters so that you don't have to be build them each and every time. Out to the right, you can review those save filters. So you have your basic as well as your advanced filters, and then any recent filters. If you have a vendor that's unavailable or you're trying to assign work, you can go to the zip code lookup uh, button. You can put in a zip code or a state. So we'll go ahead and put in 43560 for Sylvania. With the zip code lookup, you can look up vendors and their coverage areas. If you need a vendor that covers Ohio, you can simply come into Ohio and see any of vendors that are available. You can actually bring it down to the work type as well as the client company that you have to determine if that vendor's supported or if they can do the work. This allows you to assign, reassign orders, and so forth to get the work completed in a timely manner. On the left side of the screen, you'll also notice an Actions tab. The Actions tab allows you to perform actions on multiple orders at once. When you select your orders that you want to perform those actions on, you can click the tab. This allows you to perform those actions. I'll hit a few of the highlights. The first one is Assign Contractor. We can select the orders that we want to assign, choose the contractor we want to assign to, it's ready for a release, and go. That'll assign those orders to the vendor, it'll put them in their queue, it'll send them an email letting them know that those orders are ready to review or ready for them to complete. If your contractor is not getting the work done, you can actually choose your new contractor, ready for field, unassign previous, and go. That'll remove those orders from the first contractor's queue, They'll add it to the second contractor's queue, and it'll send them both an email, letting the first one know that those are canceled and letting the second vendor know that they have new orders. Some of the other areas that you'll update from here are due dates. In Property Prez Wizard, there are due dates. There's the vendor due date and the client due date. Having the separate due date allows you time to process the order once you've received it back from the field. The start date will transfer to the mobile app as well, which will allow you to get the work done, but, but or actually review the work that needs to be done without actually starting that. 
At the bottom, you can print work orders, and you can also route. With the routing feature, what that will do is take all of the orders that you've listed. It'll plot them on a map. If you put a beginning and ending address in and create route, that'll optimize the route and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions for the best way to complete it. When creating new or orders in Property Prez Wizard, you'll simply go to the New Work Order tab. You can manually create work orders, so you can come in and enter all the information. You can manually import the orders. As an example, if your client sends you an Excel spreadsheet, you can import that or you can import from many of the other customers or clients in the industry. Most people, however, use the auto import. The auto import is set up in the admin tab. You simply enter in your, your client information. When you set up a new import, you can fill out the, the form, choose your client, and save, and that'll update that. As you get new orders in from your clients, you can go back to the import queue, and it'll list any orders that you have ready for import. Simply process that and that will pull those orders in. Once the orders are in, we, you can auto assign those orders, which we'll cover here in the admin section, but you can actually review those orders. So if we would like to go in and review an order, we can click on that. Ready for office indicates that it's been to the field and it's back in the office ready for review. You can see some general information on this page, which includes the work order details down below you can see your mobile check-in. So anybody that's using Property Prez Wizard will actually check in at the property when they're, at, when they're there to complete the work. This will allow you to see when they were there, who was there, and what mobile app they were using. And when you hover over this map, you can actually see, here's my property, were they at the right property? Obviously in this example, we were not at the right property. It gives us that opportunity before we send it to the client to go back and review that before, again, we we submit that. Once your vendor has been through all the tabs up top, they'll actually mark that ready for office. The next tab is the property info pad tab. The property info tab allows you to track the entire asset, not just the work order. If you're working direct with clients, you can actually track all the information that you will need as far as utility status, important dates and time frames, total spend, number of bids created. And down below you can actually track the, all of the invoices as well as total spend at the property by, by category and how much is left, is left within the allowables. We mentioned job notes on the home screen. Job notes are communication notes. Property Press Wizard allows you to communicate from within an order directly with your contractor, your client, or other third parties. When it comes to the details of the property, we have our bid completion page. The bid completion page allows the contractor in the field to submit what needs to be done as well as what was done at the property. On this page, we also track the previous bids, anything that's been bid in the past, as well as previous completions if something has already been done. So you have to see the whole history at that property. If you're creating a bid, we do have an integration with Exact PRM that allows you to leave Property Press Wizard, enter into the PRM product, complete the asset, the estimate. When you're done with that estimate and complete the product, it'll import that data right back into PPW in order to let you see what's been estimated and, and the correct price. Photos are extremely important in our industry. We need to know time frames. When were they there? When did they leave? How far from the property was the furthest photo taken? Where were the photos? Are they labeled? So as an example, we have our bid photos here as well as our completion photos are before, durings, and afters. We can label those photos on the web or on mobile. But with that photo, or those photos, once we've viewed them, we can look on the map and see where's the property, where's our check-in, and our photos here are here as well. This allows us, again, to determine was the contractor at the right house at the right time that they said they were, and did they complete the services that they are billing us for. Once you're completed all of the work, there's the invoice section. The invoice section allows the contractor to invoice you. So when the contractor is logged in, they only see their invoice. It also allows you to invoice your client, so you can fill in your client invoice. When you're tracking the invoices in Property Press Wizard, you can reconcile those through the Reports tab, which we'll get to momentarily. If the order has been imported from a client, you can actually go to the Send Results tab and return the results. 
So the Send Results tab allows you to send the results from your order back to your client. You can send your forms, your bids, all of your uh, photos, invoicing, and check-in information back to the client from Property Press Wizard. Once you've completed orders, you've billed your client, your contractors billed you, you'll need to run reports based on that. So when the client pays you, you can import their remittance sheet. So we can go to the Import Client Payment. We can import that Excel tab, or depending on the client, we can import emails and PDFs. When we do that, we run the report. Property Press Wizard will generate a report showing you underpaid, overpaid, and paid correctly. Once you've reviewed that, you can import that or export that file. So if you import those payments, it'll apply the payments to the invoices. You can also export that file to show you underpaid and overpaid, so you can easily go back and, and dispute any issues with the clients. Once you've imported your payments, you can run accounts payable and receivable reports. So you can look at reports of what's been invoiced for different time frames. So you can put your, your date range in, You can determine client paid, yes or no, full and partial or partial only. We can look at contractor paid. How do we want to group those? And we can run the report. That will bring up a report showing everything that we owe our contractors or that is owed to depending on how we've chosen to run that report. This allows you to review everything and make sure your accounts receivables are current as well as your accounts payables. In the admin section, you can customize Property Press Wizard to meet your needs. You can create your own access levels. Access levels or groups allow you to create what the individual or what the individual you'll assign to a group can do. So if you look at your groups, you have the whole system broken down to checkboxes, and you can determine again within that group what that user can see. In the admin section, you can create your own custom pricing, which will create pricing by line item as well as by company, location, who it's assigned to, customer, so your client's customer, and loan type. In here you can set your contractor price as well as your client price. If you do not want your contractor to be able to edit that pricing, you can simply check the box to disable the contractor edit. When you save these, that will make it where the work order comes in, the system will look at who the client is, who the contractor, and where it's located to determine the individual line item pricing. We also have an auto assign. Our auto assign allows you to create coverage area by vendor. So you can determine which clients your vendor can work for, what coverage area that vendor offers, and what services they provide. So you can go in and set capacities by service level. You can also create your own forms. With the PCR forms, you can add and edit questions to, de to make the contractor answer the ones that you need versus the ones that you don't need. As an example, if you have a, a question of, is there a pool, you can have logic that says, if not, then let's move to the next section. If so, is it secured? When you're setting up those rules, you can answer, you can map the answers back to the property page. You can set up action rules, so again, show the, these questions if this question has been answered, as well as photo and validation rules. In Property Press Wizard, you can also set up QC and additional validation rules to make sure that based on the work type, the system will mark orders for review based on certain answers. If you do have any questions about Property Press Wizard, you can always contact us. Our number is 866-790-7709, extension 1 for sales or 2 for support. Thank you.